Hi, I'm Dave McKeown. Welcome to the Church Explained podcast. This is the bite-sized episode for you to enjoy today. We're going to revisit an episode we did back in 2021 with Jane Lloyd, who is one of the pastors here at Icon Church, but heads up all the children's uh, work here as well, right across six campuses. And uh, back in 2021, she shared some amazing insights of how she's grown a team over 15 years from one children's worker to 50. And I want you to listen today about some of the principles she shares of how she did this. You won't be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. That culture shift then 15 years ago, uh, obviously that was part of it. But what other strategies have you implemented? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean... Faith is is important, mm. and I think when you when you kind of trust God for something, whatever that area is in the life of church, um, you've got to receive a vision mm. from God, really. And I would say that vision is a key um, is key really to building something in the way that God wants you to build it. So I would say you've got to be able to see something before you literally see it Mm. and so you've got to have Mm. that vision and um, I would say a few years ago as a a children's ministry that we spent a little bit of time really uh, talking around around vision and values I mean as a church we have a vision and values and I wanted our children's ministry to have the same which fitted into Mm. the vision of Icon Church Um, so we we talked about that a little bit and we came up with a vision and values um, our vision is helping kids to to know Jesus and live their best life. Oh, well done. <laughs> that. Almost. Very good. Um, and so the values around that were like we came up with fun, friendship, faith. Yeah. So that was easy for us to remember. Um, so it's about having fun, building friendship and growing faith. Mm. Um, and that's what we want to see in our children. Um, as they, you know, come up through kids' ministry and grow in church. So vision is crucial. And I think then praying into that vision yeah. is mm. so important. And that's where the faith comes in and you're trusting God mm. to actually resource you <laughs> with what you haven't got because we have a big vision. And so, you know, uh, we often say in church, you know, that um, we have more vision than we yeah. have resources. Mm-hmm. And the same is true in kids' ministry. Um, but I remember like, um, there was one particular time where I really needed like another key person alongside me who had as much passion that I had, Mm. um, to see this thing grow. Um, and we didn't have a lot of team at that point, but I really prayed and believed that God would give me somebody. And literally within two weeks, a, a new person came into church, um, and within a few weeks, I found out that, that they had a passion for kids' ministry. And to cut a long story short, they came onto my core team eventually and served on that team for many years. So, you know, prayer does work. It does change things. Yeah. And I think you just got to have that faith to believe that God is going to do the impossible, what mm, seems yeah. impossible at the time. So praying is really crucial. And then I think um, the third thing I would say is recruiting the right people. Mm, very good. Um, and I would say my experience, which I've learned along the way, is that, you know, recruiting the wrong people is often not the best mm. um, case scenario, really. And and I know that oftentimes you're in a ministry and you just need people mm. Who to help and <laughs> serve. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But for kids ministry, it's not it's not necessarily the right thing just to pull mm. anyone into mm. it because you really need people that have passion to see those kids grow and flourish. People that actually like kids as mm. well is really important. Mm. And uh, you know we've ha- we've had people that just they haven't been in the right place. And I think when you're recruiting for a kids team, you definitely need to to look for those right people that yeah. that can serve those kids yeah. in the best way possible really because they deserve to mm. have the best yeah. um so i think recruitment is is a real real key ingredient to building a successful ministry yeah. let, let, let's talk about that mm. whole thing around teams as well mm. um and building teams like 
you know, even just getting into the fundamentals, what you do, how often you meet. But also, um, I know, because of being youth pastor, we have lots of young people Mm. who are in youth who serve yeah. in the kids ministry I wonder if you'd just touch on that as well yeah so I mean to to be honest that has been brilliant mm. um some of my best leaders are my young leaders wow. and even what we call some of the mini leaders mm. that's just because obviously in kids ministry um the whole thing around safeguarding is is very very important mm. um so once they get to 16 obviously they can have a DBS check and everything. Yeah. So they're fully fledged, if you like. But I have I encourage mm. leaders that are younger than that mm. who maybe are, are in youth um, but have that desire and that willingness to serve. And some of those have been my best leaders um, because they're so enthusiastic and mm. their heart is just so willing mm. to serve and they just do a great job. And I think it's a great... It's a great learning ground as well, yeah, being is. in kids' ministry, mm. um, because you, you learn a lot of skills yeah. through that. Oh, good. Um, so, yeah, mm. the youth are being key. One of, one of the things I'd add is, like, getting the young people involved. It, they see a bigger picture than just the youth or their bubble. Yeah. They see serving yeah, as well. Yeah, they do. They um, do. And I think they see what impact they can have, yeah. because maybe they wouldn't impact an adult mm. in the same mm. way. Um but actually children, they can have a mm. great impact on, on children. And quite relatable as well. Yeah, that's they? right. They're, they're very close mm. to their age, mm. so they're into the same kind of things. They understand where kids are in their world, um, which is brilliant. Yeah. So, so yeah. L- let me draw it mm. a little bit more on that. So just thinking of your 50 team mm. leaders that you have, what's the percentage there? Yeah, this is not a question we've plan but uh, but it's just interesting what, what's the percentage there do you think of young leaders or mini leaders to uh adult Adults. leaders yeah you're testing me dave <laughs> G- give um, a, a but ball, I, if i was to figure. say roughly yeah it's probably 50 50 that's pretty good mm. that, yeah. isn't it yeah that's yeah really good. yeah yeah and then when we do our events of course and i encourage whoever in the church i mean i encourage a lot of people to just get involved and serve on those because we need big teams um Mm. and that's when i find that you know i'm pulling more of those young people in because they've obviously got the time yeah in holidays and stuff like that Mm. uh to give yeah Mm. so it's really well that's it for our episode uh, the Church Explained podcast. We want to thank Jane yeah, for Jane, being with you. us <laughs> and uh, talking around this whole thing of children's ministry that grows the church. And if you head over to icon.church forward slash open, there are loads of children's resources on there that Jane and the team have mm. put together that you can use for your children's ministry. I want to thank you for listening and uh, please rate, review, subscribe wherever you're consuming this content. And we look forward to seeing you next time on the Church Explained podcast.